Hello everybody and welcome back to another video today. Today I'm going to be doing uh, the future of, frankly, the Electoral College. I did a video on the future of the West Coast, the future um, of the Northeast, the future of the Rust Belt, the future of the Sun Belt. Now I'll just be doing the entire Electoral Map, the future of um, the Electoral College and what it will look like by the year around 2040. Uh, before I begin this video, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel as we continue to go towards 400 subscribers. Anyway, let's get right into our safe Democrat races, what I still think and what will be safe Democrat races by the year 2040, um, as characterized by the Electoral College. So, safe Democrat states will be Washington, California, Hawaii, Illinois, New York, Vermont, um, Connecticut will not, Maryland, D.C., Delaware-ish, yes, um, Maine's first, and the state of Colorado, totaling up to 108, 100, excuse me, 158 electoral votes now for safe Republican races by the year 2050. Uh, Oregon, you've seen a little bit of a narrowing up um, over the last few election cycles there. Same with a little bit of the Northeast, um, but yeah, that's it, a lot. In Colorado, it continues to trend to the left, so yes. Uh, actually, I'll also consider... Uh, based on current trends, I'll also consider New Mexico a safe Democrat state. Safe Republicans will be those states as usual, as well as most of Nebraska coming down through here. Uh, and including, we will now include Iowa and Ohio as safe Republican races. Um, <clears throat> Alaska will not be considered that, but actually not South Carolina either. But that adds up. 230 electoral votes. Also, Georgia, so 130. I mean, not Georgia, Utah, so 136. I'm getting a little bit mixed up at the moment. But yes, 136, 163. So usually, for me, at the current rate, it's 181 electoral votes, say, for the Democrats, to 125 for the Republicans. Republicans gain a little, Democrats lose a little in this new projections, but obviously this is not the whole electoral map, so we're nowhere near done. Likely Democrat races will be Georgia, as well as these races that will narrow up slightly. Um... And let's see, I'm going to include Maine at large as a likely Democrat race, but that will be it for the likely Democrats. Likely Republican races will be Alaska, South Carolina, um, Maine second, and Florida will all be Republican race. Actually, also Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, not Pennsylvania. Those will be likely Republican states, totaling up to 189 electoral votes. So interestingly, Rust Belt starts to definitely shift more towards the right. South Carolina narrows up, and Florida shifts a little bit more towards the right as well, thanks to people like DeSantis, uh, who have been able to swing that state significantly. Also, Nebraska second with redistricting will be likely. Uh, <clears throat> lean Republican, um, lean Democrat races <clears throat> will be actually I forgot about Virginia as a likely Democrat race. Lean Democrat races will be the states of hmm, let's take a look at this. Be the state of Georgia as well as the state of um, Minnesota will be a lean Democrat race. Uh, Minnesota, out of all the Rust Belt states, it's been the one that swung that has swung the slowest to the right uh, out of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Still be leaning two to three points for the Democrats, also the state of New Hampshire, not Vermont. I clicked that the wrong one last video as well. Uh, lean Republican races, Pennsylvania, Michigan, North Carolina, all Republican leaned races. Um, Rust Belt shift and North Carolina still retains a higher proportion of Republicans and Democrats. Uh, and I think it will continue how it has been going and how it has, frankly, stayed the same uh, over the last few election cycles. Going into 2040, we really don't see any demographic changes majorly there. Um, so there's not much I can say towards that. We are in our tilt red slash tilt blue races going into 2040. Tilt blue, first one, Arizona. Tilt red, Texas will still be tilt red. Um, actually, hmm. yes, I'm going to leave it at tilt red because we're seeing a little bit of bounce back towards the Republicans in that state. Uh, we're going to have to see what happens in 2022, but I'm going to leave it at tilt red for the moment. Um, and I'm also going to leave New Hampshire at tilt blue. So that makes it 280, 258, obviously very, very close electoral map. When people say, um, the, the, the Republicans will never win an election again after Obama won 2008, 2012. Republicans are never going to win an election again. You know, Democrats will. That's not true. And when uh, Trump won in 2016, Democrat or the Republicans said, "I don't know if a Democrat will ever win this. Will ever win the presidency again." That is also not true. Um, so, it, both the parties will win elections 
again in the future. There will be another Republican president, and there will be another Democrat president. So don't listen to people who say that because they are not being truthful. Uh, There will be Republicans and Democrats as presidents of the country again. Um, So yeah, at the moment, 280 to 258, it's all malleable when it comes down to the tilt races. So it frankly could swing either way. Same with the lean races. Um, Democrat definitely could win this race. Texas could tilt. Republicans could win by larger margins. Um, Not only Texas could tilt, but maybe even Michigan or Pennsylvania or North Carolina. So yeah, it is malleable and it is, it's changeable. But at the moment, 280, 258, this is how I see the, the electron map looking by the year 2040 based on historical trends, demographic trends, uh, and, and, and everything else it accounted for. So anyway, tell me guys what you think of this map in the comments below. Uh, please make sure once more to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and stay tuned for more great content. I am going to be away for a few days this winter break. Um, so I'm going to be trying to pre-making videos. Hopefully I'll be able to continue the trend of making a new video every day. Um, but if there isn't one coming out one day, you know, just realize I am away and unable to be making videos. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.